Today we're taking a look at the Ghostbusters Answer the Call, Aaron Gilbert, with the Collect and Connect Rowan. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today on the show, we're taking a look at the 2016 Ghostbusters Answer the Call, Aaron Gilbert, with the legs of the Collect and Connect Rowan. I'm recording this in early, mid-March. Uh, it will be on Come Again TV uh, the first week of October. Uh, I just purchased this along with Patty Tolan. I don't want to keep them in the box that long. I don't want to keep the box around that long. So I'm going to go ahead and film these and schedule them for several months down the road so they air around Halloween. I figured that'd be the perfect time to air them. As you may recall, last Halloween, I reviewed this one right here. Abby Yates, uh, along with the other Ghostbusters, uh, the original Ghostbusters. Uh, I am having a huge problem trying to find Jillian Holtzman. She is the only one left of the collection that I need to get. Uh, but they're all outrageously priced, 50 to 100. I've seen them up to like 110 bucks on Amazon, eBay, everywhere. It's ridiculous, guys. I just, I can't stand scalpers. You know, so what if she's a popular character? There, that is no reason to overprice crap like that. It, it's just ridiculous, you know. And what really upsets me even more than that is before I saw the movie we stopped by Walmart and they had all kinds of Jillian Holtzman figures and I was gonna get one but I decided I'd wait until after we saw the movie and see if I liked it or not by the time we got back there no more Jillian Holtzman's really aggravates me so with that being said uh, so with that being said um, I will update this uh, in the comments once it is published um, if anyone has an extra Jillian Holtzman with the body of Rowan in the package that they'd be willing to sell for a reasonable price, uh, not scalping it or anything, uh, leave a message. Let me know. Contact me. You can find me on Facebook under Shannon Cornthwaite or message our uh, Come Again TV uh, Facebook page, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever. Let me know. A reasonable amount. I'm not talking, you know, 50 plus dollars. The most I'd be willing to pay, including shipping, would probably be about 30 bucks. That seems like an, a, reas a reasonable amount to me. All the other characters are going for like anywhere between 3 to $10. You know, they're on clearance. I bought Aaron here for about 4 bucks. Uh, Patty was also about 4 bucks. So, you know... I'd be willing to spend a little bit more for Jillian simply because I need her. But like I said, the most I'm willing to pay is about 30 bucks, which includes the shipping and handle. So with that being said, nice little slime package here with the uh, orange and silver bars for safety. Number one is Abby Yates. Number two, Aaron Gilbert. Three is Jillian Holzman. And four is Patty Tolan. Uh, Abby came with the arms of Rowan. Aaron comes with the legs. Jillian Holtzman comes with the torso. And Patty Tolan comes with the head. So let's go ahead and open Aaron up and take a look inside. All right, so here she is, guys. Aaron Gilbert from the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. Let's go ahead and lower this down a bit and zoom in on her. Um, she looks okay. She doesn't, I mean, the hair really resembles Aaron, uh, but the face, not so much. It's just like a very generic looking face. Uh, her hands do grip on 
to the proton wand uh, fairly well. Let's go ahead and take it out of our hands. And it is made out of kind of a gummier plastic, slightly flexible. I wouldn't bend it too much though, uh, because you might break it. Uh, but the proton pack, just like with uh, Abby Yates and the uh, OG Ghostbusters, the proton pack does come off. nice basic design and I believe you can plug the proton wand in just like that into the pack so now here's Aaron Gilbert uh, nice design um, great articulation you got the head is on it should it's, it's on kind of a ball joint but her ponytail in the back kind of stops it from moving too much uh, so you move it side to side you can kind of angle it down and slightly up but not too much uh, the arms all the way around at the shoulder up to there uh, you can turn them get up higher uh, elbow joint a standard elbow joint um, almost 90 degrees. Okay. Um, she does have a wrist swivel. Um, however, I don't want to do that too much because it almost looks like her hand's going to pop off. Uh, and that's with both arms. Both arms are the same way. Uh, waist swivel uh, legs can go up to there they can go back to there and there is a hinge so you get that nice split action uh, thigh swivel you got the knee hinge knee joint hinge uh, pretty close to 90 degrees no boot articulation, but you do have the ankle swivel. But n a slight rocker on it, but n not much. Uh, Aaron was an okay character in the movie. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't really care for the movie. Uh, but I liked it. It was okay. The only thing I didn't really care for it was... Um, the dumbing down of all men in the movie, that just, I didn't really care for that at all. Uh, but overall I liked it. It was a good Ghostbusters movie. Um, I have not read any of the Answer the Call comics yet by IDW. I have, however, as you guys may know, uh, I do read the other Ghostbusters comics from Eric Burnham and Dan Sconing. And as I said before, the Proton Wand does fit in her hands very well. Uh, with this one, you have to kind of just slide it into her hand like that. Very nice. And she does come with the legs of Rowan right there. So... Um, and the, the paint detail isn't too bad either. Uh, very nice. I didn't see hardly any blemishes. The only thing bad about this figure, you know, is the face sculpt. The face doesn't really look like Aaron Gilbert. The hair looks good. The cut, the suit looks good. The proton pack and the, uh, proton wand look good. It's just the face sculpt isn't really that great. So there you have it, guys. From the 2016 Answer the Call Ghostbusters movie, Aaron Gilbert with the Collect and Connect Rowan's legs. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think, what you thought of the 2016 Ghostbusters movie. And if you guys have an extra Jillian Holtzman action figure with the body of Rowan in the package for sale for a decent price, remember, I'm only interested in 
going up to paying up to thirty dollars, which includes shipping and handling, for a Jillian Holzman in package with the Rowan body. I'm not interested in uh, paying these loser scalpers extra because they want to make more money off of an action figure than what's really necessary. You know, fifty to a hundred dollars is just ridiculous for an action figure that's only six inches tall. So anyway, guys, I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care.